Hello and welcome to another quick tip video. Now quick tip video is all about genuine photography tips, tricks and camera hacks that I really use as a photographer. And no gimmicks, just proper tips and advice that I've picked up over the years. Now most of these will be free of charge or very inexpensive, but will be sure to help you with your photography. But before we get into this, if you haven't already done so, then please be sure to hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up if you find this tip useful and you want to see more. So today's tip, we are making a battery grip like this one for our Canon M50. So normally with these type of videos, I talk about generic photography tips, um, but today we're talking about something a little bit more specific and that's the Canon ESM50. Brilliant camera, one of my favorites to use, but unfortunately it doesn't have a battery grip or you don't are unable to buy one. Canon doesn't make one at all. Um, there is one third party company out there in, in America, which do some, they look awful. Um, very expensive as well, so I didn't want to buy one of those. I've done a bit of research and I looked and the EOS 100D battery grip, um, the size difference between the two cameras is only one millimetre difference in width. And also, quite interestingly, they both use the E12 battery. So this is the grip. Now this is actually, a, it's not a genuine Canon one, but you can also buy third party companies which make the the grips for 100D. This one's from DSTE, it's well, from Amazon. Um, never heard of a company before, but it was £25. So I thought for £25, it's worth a go. And we're going to convert it to work with the EOS M50. So let's get started. Okay, so to do this uh, conversion, you're going to need a little bit of sandpaper, a very small Phillips uh, screwdriver and not to scare you but a, uh, a hacksaw so let's get started and first of all there's these small little screws on the base and we're simply going to remove each one of these so we now just need to unplug this connection here for the battery pack so be very careful when you do that, you don't want to break any clips. Move that to one side. Now, if we put this bit back in place, we should be able to see what we're dealing with. So, that needs to mount on here. And as you can see, it almost fits, but just here on this edge, that's catching. So what we need to do is cut this corner off so then the camera will fit flush onto the base. But we're nearly there. Okay, so let's just have a look and see if that fits. Yeah, so it's looking pretty good. So just going to tidy it up with a bit of sandpaper. Okay, so that's that stage done. So we've now got this fitting on here. So the next stage is going to be the battery. Um, to start with, there's normally with a battery grip, you'll be able to take this flap off but because obviously Canon have designed this camera not to be used with a battery grip you can't do it so instead what we have done is giving you this little um, opening here so we're going to need to take this off now I don't know if there's going to be enough room to keep this on but this will come off quite easily so to do so we just need to Loosen off this screw here and loosen off this screw here. It's easier if you don't unscrew them all the way. And then that should just lift out the way enough. Poke that out and come off, and then 
make sure you put both screws back nice and tight just make sure that all shuts and opens there be any differences I've got a, a hole at the bottom so I'll keep that to one side if I ever need to put it back in place so no damage to the M50 at all so now we've got to do this sort of this battery out so to do so this is the battery it's going to be replacing so I need that to be able to slide inside but all this base bit I'm not going to need because that's just going to get in the way so I need to cut all this off but I need to cut the battery with the hacksaw exactly the right sort of length which is bang on the base I now need to cut this. Now be careful when you're cutting it so you don't cut the cable as well. Okay, so you have to be very, very careful. Okay, so that's now off. Let's just unhook. Uh, don't throw this bit away we're going to need that bit later so this is now a battery let's just rub that down the plan is that will go through there and this will go in here that should be the battery which connects to your battery rip so that's the power sorted the last thing I need to do is just tidy up this bit to make it flush so I need to hacksaw I need to hacksaw all of this bit here to make that nice and flush so the camera sits on the base properly so uh, Let's just carefully do that. One thing which I might do as well, there's a little sponge here, which could be quite useful. So I'm going to take this sponge off because Just put that sponge on the battery to make it nice and tight. So uh, let's cut away to the last little bit. Okay, so I've now cut away that plate now so it should be flush so it's just a case of now putting it all together so I've got the cable to thread through here and then I need to plug it in okay now let's just screw it all back in Okay, so all finished. So looking pretty good. Um, nice tidy job. More importantly, moment of truth. Let's turn it on. Do I have power? Yes, I do. And the power's coming from the two batteries um, below here. So I've doubled my battery life now. Um, and more importantly, I've got a big solid grip. I can take good control of this camera now. I know it looks overkill with a small lens on like this, but if I swap it over to a EF lens like this 400mm EF lens with the adapter and that's when you need the grip to really take control of that lens and the camera properly. So I hope you found that really useful. Please do me a favour, give me a thumbs up 
and also if you like tips like this camera hacks useful information then don't forget to subscribe many thanks bye